Alright, so first day off the bat, I'm gonna be getting my. So, first of all, Nico plays. Um, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you're new to any type of well, so you get notifications for any type of content that I upload. What so, straight off the bat, we just got woke up and hopped on our tour. Now, I, as you see, I have, I have both characters here. So, I, Nagato is going to be next when I get, Nagato is going to get, he's going to be the next character I buy. So, it's uh, Naruto last battle. And probably only key, but most likely she's sweet. But besides all that, this is the new Nagata DLC. If you're new here, like I said, be sure to subscribe so you get updated when I post and you won't be late to like a live that I do sometimes. But straight off the bat, I'm just gonna collect my rewards. And yeah, the event, I, if y'all wanna know about the rewards, well, some of y'all probably already have them, but like I'll probably like upload a little small, similar clip if y'all wanted or not about the rewards. But over on over entirely, I'm gonna be doing a separate video like after this video post. Uh, I think later on I'm gonna be doing an item shop update. So yes, that is the scientific ninja tool crimson. What is crimson star? The Takata's outfit keep release date. The last time this is the second time keep release has came out. I assume because the last time it released it was with Sakura's uh, armored version outfit and the uh, Sakura Naginita. So start the bottom, uh, taking off my skirt and stuff. Y'all need to see all this, because I didn't really get anything, which I'm still mad about. Oh, so, yeah. Alright, so we just came from opening all of our skills. Like I said, I didn't get anything, so, like, I'm still mad about that. But, hopefully I can get some more scrolls. And, I mean, I think the item shop is going to be around even after the Ninja Hero Festival. So, hopefully I'm able to get the Crimson what Star and, uh, the Cube Release Blades. Because I do need some type of special weapon besides, um, the... Oro Orochimaru Skuzanagi and what is it called? Uh, Orochimaru Skuzanagi, Minato's Kunai, and the Holiday Bells that they released. Now, as y'all seen, people did already get the outfit, and I'm gonna show y'all all the Nagato stuff. So, don't worry. Um, the ultimate, I couldn't land my ultimate, which I'm really mad about. And they were cheating a lot. I don't, I don't want to say cheating. They was just, it's, it was too much happening, right? And for me, I, I, I couldn't. They had a Ninja War Face Pro. And when I tell you, they did the utmost. Like, they did the most. Like, beyond and beyond. Like, how Buzz Lightyear said. I, I, I forgot what you said. But that's that's what they did. Infinity and beyond. So, I'm, so, y'all gonna see in the match. Y'all gonna see in the match, basically. But yeah, uh, I'll explain all his jutsus. The first jutsu is Ch Chiku Sada, and that one, Chiku Sada, that one, um, it summons the the chameleon and makes you go invisible for like a um, period of time. The second jutsu, Please, oh yeah, you can't be targeted by it too, I forgot. The second jutsu is a uh, second activate. Y'all gonna see when it shows, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you. Y'all gonna have to pause the video though, to look at it. So, look. Yeah, invisibility prevents enemies from locking on. The summon puppet armor enables the uh, um a two a second activation type of thing, so you can keep activating and spamming it with the second juice of Sharada, the one with that one that looks purple. The first juice is the chameleon, which looks blue and green. That's that Chiku Sharada. Chiku Sada makes you go invisible and untargetable. Now, it takes a while to like actually like see the person there. Cause like when you when you stand on the base and you're like, why is it not loading for my team? You gonna notice that there's a person right there. And when it, the time is up, as y'all seen my bar, it went down when I had it on. So it, when it goes down, the chameleon appears and spits you back out. Uh, for Chiku Sada, y'all gonna see in a minute what Chiku, Chiku Sada does. And it's very spammable and annoying. See the right side. My second juice on the right side is the fire head armor, fire fire head arrow. My the, the left side is my first juice arm cannon. Right there, right this thing is like a, a little blast that went forward. But yeah, that's arm cannon. And our ultimate would be the Gito statue summoning. Um, I would skip it to the Gito statue where where the people did Gito statue, but I don't really. I'm just let the video play out. See how he's untargetable and you didn't notice it for like a little minute. And y'all gonna see the frustration 
Well, y'all ain't gonna see it, but y'all should know. I was so stupid. This damn so much. And that's all it did, so too much. And I see I was mad. We ain't even gonna touch that topic, but yeah, that's what happened. And the uh, ultimate summoning Gita statue, um, you summon a Gita statue. It drops your, the uh, only downfit of it is it drops your health down to one. I thought it was an enemy health, but no, it drops your health down to one after summoning it. You know, the little appearance comes on. Y'all, y'all gonna see it. I don't want to expose it before y'all see it, but y'all gonna see it. Yeah, after that, it uh, shoots out a dragon for long range enemies and it's safe the enemy it's like a one hit thing basically so if you got enemies close to you when you activate it they gon get stunned it's like a, a knock up they gonna knock up come back down you know i take a while for them to come back up like to uh, stand back up that's how it's gonna be and after that they're gonna see how my bars then so that's different they're gonna get sucked in with a little whirlpool thing that comes up to keep them out and then after that, the dragon should hit them if they're not in range for uh, the little soul suck. But after all that, you that's what I'm saying. It, it has a downfall because you're going to need a healer. Because after that, you're going to be at one health. And unless you can play the game smoothly, y'all about to win or something. Other than that, you're basically, that's like basically a suicide ultimate. But I, there's some people who've managed to make it. I think they have like some, you can use Madara's ability to go with this. I think... Yeah, early access. I think somebody already. You can buy the DLC. I'm sure, right? I haven't checked the shop, but I'm. I think it, I'm pretty sure you can. Cause I've seen somebody in the lobby with it before. But I don't know. Um, when I get a chance, I'm buying it. Cause I could use that Sharada and the Chameleon for all things. You can really use Sharada. Sharada. Most likely, Sharada will be the only thing you will really use a lot because for, oh, for flag battle you might need it, but they can tell you where you add because of um the flag on the map. You just will be untargetable. That's it. And then for Sharada, you would just need that for like stop people from base or flag. And combat, I don't know about combat, but the ultimate that's most likely a base combat and flag type thing. But it depends on where your flag at. Cause sand battle flag, that's eligible. Which one? Rain, rain, um, village flag. That's not gonna work. Cause there's not really much space for you to cast it. And stuff. See, there it is, right there. Get it. Oh, look at the leg. Little leg, little leg. So, see, you seen it? The world pulls up, and what well, the soul suck, and then you see the black ride, and he shoots at a dragon. Which kills everybody. And your 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 cooldown is so extended. You they basically might make it 30 seconds. Cause it practically was like 20 seconds, I assume. I don't really know. But yeah, that's that's the build. Wait, what that's the video. That's the DLC. The DLC is broken though. Like, I'm not gonna lie, when people buy this DLC and they put it on their characters, there's no stopping them because you could max this with any type of thing. You could put lightning shuriken net or the paralysis uh thing, paralysis steel. Heavenly Hand Power and Sherado and just spam this all the time and you can use the uh, Crimson Star to get your combo hit up to 15 because automatically it's 15 hits it's like a little it keeps them in a stun duration type of um what is it called movement thing or whatever not try to cast mine but somehow my ultimate well my health went down so fast I don't oh wait oh, I know why because my health was after casting it, your health go down so if you get hit with while doing that, then that's your. So you would need some type of help or some type of healer to help you up. That's what I'm saying. If you're going to run this ultimate, always have a healer. No matter what type of healer it is. It could be Tsunade, Sakura, Sarada. I wouldn't say Kab Kabuto can heal, right? We just want to say Kabuto, May. Uh, May is my personal. My personal character I like to play, as y'all seen in some videos, well, the last video I posted, it shows that, um, I have a title for 12th place, that's, that's, uh, on camera, I think, but, yeah, besides that, so yeah, but I think it got fed off, I don't, I don't really know, but yeah, besides that, um, that's, that's the, uh, DLC finale, so, uh, the awards are, when I, when I, it's gonna be a long time since I buy them. So the awards, I'll just like tell y'all it's 
you get the outfit, the first Akatsuki, and you get the reanimated outfit. You also get Kronai's version of the outfit, the juicy, the hairstyle, and the ultimate, um, the seals. And I think, yeah, you get a, um, a, um, a title that says brother or something like that. But that's, that's the DLC. Um, if you like this type of content, I, I, show, I always do Naruto to the bar type stuff. So make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment whether you will use the build. Well, tell me what type of builds you would use. And if the builds I suggested were good enough. So yeah, new plays and I'll see y'all in the next video.